this coalesce properly. Some of the ideas of some of the patterns on the left here the, uh, are some of the suburban ways of doing it, and on the right are the urban ways of doing it. We're not trying to bring something from suburban St. Charles County or St. Clair County in downtown St. Louis. It doesn't work. We don't believe it works. This has got to be urban in all of its ways. All the meeting spaces and the green spaces, the greening of the streets, the greening of the sidewalks, the parks. Uh, we, we don't believe golf courses make sense, so what we'll end up doing is trying to put green along the streets inside. You're going to see a lot of that tonight. Green changes people's attitude about their community, about our community. Public realm, we'll come up with a way of managing the public realm. And what we mean by the public realm are the public spaces that we can plant flowers and keep green. I respect the city a lot, but we as a community want to be able to manage that ourselves, not depend on the city at large to do that. That's what we do in everything we, we uh, develop. The employment centers are the answer, in our opinion. And I don't have to tell you about the community and some of the, some of the issues that we have, but we can do better and we can change it. I believe we can change it. What are the, what are the outcomes? We believe over a 15 year cycle, we already have been five years into it, we pick the next 15 years because I'd like to not be dead in a wheelchair or a dribble cup when I see it. I really want to see this develop in our community. So we picked a 15 year cycle. We said if we could develop, and you're going to see the densities in here in a minute, if we can develop those densities, we can create 22,000 new permanent jobs and 43,000 construction jobs, excluding the infrastructure. Anything that has to happen in the infrastructure, you know the infrastructure has to be rebuilt. These are not our numbers. These were done by an independent group and one of the consultants is here working with us tonight. We want to retain every business that's here. We don't want to lose one business. It's so significant to the tax base. That's really, really important to us. You've heard me talk about mixed uh, diversity of homes and the various economic uh, development bases. Significant emphasis on green and renewable energy. You're going to see some stuff here that is really, really exciting, and it's new to even me. Uh, this idea of mixing sustainability with new energy, and we can create new jobs, new green jobs in our own community. We can lead. We on the north side can lead and not follow. We're going to show you a possible trolley. What we want to end up doing is getting people out of their cars and getting them walking, getting them on the street getting them intersecting with each other, so you're going to see some of that. And the interconnectivity of the green space and the public spaces and the commercial spaces. When we're all done in 15 years, all the new assets that we've created, excluding the infrastructure, amounts to $5.4 billion. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of asset base. It'll create 43,000 construction jobs and 21,670 with an annual payroll of almost a million dollars. With an annual tax base to the city of St. Louis of $99 million. That's huge, all, and the city's existing budget is right at $400 million. We on the north side can lead, not follow, with these kind of numbers, with this kind of development, with this kind of job growth. What's my commitment to you? I think it's important that I talk about that tonight. We will create new jobs. That's what we do. You have my commitment, we'll create new jobs. But the community has to get ready to t accept these new jobs. There are gonna be all kinds of jobs, but the community's gotta make itself ready. That's not what we do. We're dirt and building and concrete people. The community's gotta grab a hold of that and the non-for-profits, and you heard, heard the alderman talk about that. McEagle on eminent domain, a lot has been said about us with eminent domain. We will not use eminent domain to take your house to build somebody else a house. I've said that and I've said it and I've said it again. The only place that we would use eminent domain would be in the job centers. If we've got to free some acreage up and we think that number is very, very, very small. Or if the MoDOT needs it to do a highway or something like that, that's their issue. But we believe it will be used sparingly. Why will it be used sparingly? Because it's very, very, very expensive way. It's the most expensive way to buy land. We all know that, and we all we do is make a bunch of attorneys rich. The second thing is the land assemblage tax credit, that is the Missouri State tax credit that helps us do this, excludes any land that was purchased in eminent domain. 
So you not only overpay for it, you don't get a tax credit for it. So it's a double penalty if you use eminent domain. So there's an economic incentive not to do it. And I want you to hear that from me. We'll create partners um, in the community, both minority partners, partners in business. We've had our record looked at as close as anybody. Uh, we maintain what we say we're gonna do. We do what we say both on the construction side and on the, uh, and on the development side. A huge disappointment to me is we haven't had enough minority investment in real estate. And we certainly welcome that as well. And uh, we have talked to many about that and are encouraged that there could be a good future there. McKeego, will, as you're seeing tonight, hopefully, and you have seen, we will begin to open up partnerships uh, with the, uh, all the stakeholders, including the schools. Uh, we will support all kinds of schools, public schools, private schools, charter schools, church schools. You're gonna see we're talking about creating 10,000 new housing units. When we do that, we gotta have, people won't come here without having schools. We need schools, we need good schools. Can't read the bottom one here. In the, we will maintain every building that we can save. We have analyzed 4,600 parcels in buildings in here through our team, and we've assessed it. And we are going to attempt to hang on to every historic building that we can hang on to and save. That's really, really important to our commitment here. So hopefully this gives you a basis to now see some of the images and uh, Bill Laskowski is gonna start walking you through there. Bill. Thanks, 